Hey, what's up, guys? So what you're looking at here might be one of my favorite projects. This is the V-Player board displaying an image, but what makes it special? I've already shown you how to display images, video, uh, we've done live feeds from traffic cameras, and a lot of other projects. But what makes this special is that this image comes from AI. So every five minutes, it will reach out to OpenAI's API, prompt it with any prompt you want. And in this case, I have it just saying, give me a painting in the style of Van Gogh. It downloads that image and displays it. So all day, every day, when you look at this, it's going to be a new image generated from AI. Let's do this live. I'm gonna cycle power to it. Okay, we're powering up. It's connecting to OpenAI, prompting it and downloading that image. So this, we're doing it live. We'll see what it comes up with here. So to me, I think the possibilities are endless with something like this because you can make that prompt anything you want. And I have a few ideas for projects coming up using this. Like I can pull in real time information from anything, let's say the weather, and then generate an image based on what the weather forecast is going to be. So, you know, things like that would be really cool with this sort of thing. Uh, but let me show you how to get set up and running quickly with this. All right, so here we are over at the vPlayer docs page, and I've created a new project for this AI Dolly Image Generator. So if we go over there, you'll see the full instructions here on how to set this up. But really what makes this easy is that I've put all of the configuration on the SD card. So there's a file on there, settings.txt, and just in plain text, you're going to have your Wi-Fi SSID, your Wi-Fi password, your OpenAI API key, and I'll show you how to get that here in a second. Then your prompt in just plain text, like put in paint me a picture in the style of Monet, like you see here, or whatever you want. Give me a logo, give me whatever. Uh, give me some anime crazy drawings, you know, so you can kind of get creative with that. Then your update rate in seconds. So in this case, I have it set for 300 seconds. And here you see a new image was just generated. Um, so that's every five minutes. Now I'm going to warn you that this API is not free and maybe I'm doing something wrong, but uh, it gets pretty expensive. So, uh, and when we get over to the open AI uh, stuff, I'll show you uh, the usage stuff and all of that. But anyway, so that's where you're going to put your update rate and that's it. So in order to load this firmware, you actually have a few options. So I have the source code here to the GitHub page so you can compile it yourself uh, and upload it. Or you can just drop in the firmware.bin file. So if you go to the releases page here, here is the firmware.bin file. So all V players that are shipped out have code in them that on boot up, they're going to look at the SD card for a firmware.bin file. And if that file is present, it's going to use that and update itself. So that's kind of cool. So if you just want to experiment with it, go ahead, drop this firmware.bin file down and set it up. And by the way, I think, and I haven't tested this, but I think that if you don't have the settings.txt file, I create a default file with, you know, default information. So, uh, which is kind of cool. So on first boot up, you'll already have that file and then you just need to modify it. All right, so now let's go over to the OpenAI stuff. And by the way, I want to give a quick shout out to, and I totally forgot to mention this, the original idea for this project came from this uh, GitHub page here, this AI chat library for Arduino. And this worked great, but this was just text only. So I basically just took this source code um, and modified it to work with Dolly. And uh, if I was any good at GitHub, I'd probably fork this over and figure out how to, you know, uh, do a pull request uh, back on it. But anyway, I've included the modified uh, source from this library in my code as well. So uh, go ahead and check this one out though as well, because it's really cool. All right, now let's go over to OpenAI. So let's see here. That link is right here, OpenAI. And of course, you're going to have to set up an account and log in. So I've already set all of this up. So hopefully uh, everything here looks uh, the same when you do this. But 
Uh, let's go to the dashboard first. Uh, and you'll see over here to the left, API keys. Now I've already done this, so I've created a new key and don't forget to save your secret key. That's your API key that you're going to put in that settings.txt file. Um, and it only shows you this once. I can't ever see this again, I don't think. And uh, I learned this the hard way and that's why you see vplayer2 here. So uh, remember to save that. Of course, you know, you could delete these and create new ones. So I've done that. Now I'm just going to go over to usage here. And I think you also need to create a project. So I've done that here as well, vplayer project. Uh, and maybe that's what sort of unlocks this dashboard for the, uh, for the uh, API key. Uh, but you see here my usage is zero. But we have to look at what the total bill for uh, the whole organization is. So let's just do that. And I warned you, I've only been running this for a day now, and I'm already at five bucks, and that's running every five minutes. So I, again, I might be doing something wrong here because I can't imagine why it's adding up so much. Um, I think I need to go and look at what the uh, the API uh, usage uh, or you know token cost is or whatever it is. But anyway, let's uh, let's go now over to billing. So that's where you're going to actually add credit to this account. So I just added like 10 bucks to this. But straight out of the box, if you have that API key, you have credit on the account, uh, everything should work just as you see it here in this project. Uh, and let me know down below uh, if you do run into any issues. But yeah, that's pretty much all I've got on this project. Something super cool. And I think I'm going to implement this in a lot of uh, new projects where I'm like pulling in information from different sources. I think that'd be really cool. So let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.